Hey traders, what's going on? It's Chris at Verilo Trading. Hope you guys are having a nice day. In this video, I'm gonna show you a custom study I created in Sierra Chart using their advanced custom study language and interface. This study is a trade management study and what it does is it will move your closest attached target or stop loss to the price that you are hovering over um, on your chart or trading DOM in Sierra Chart. And uh, basically, this feature is, I guess, an improvement to one of the existing features that are already in Sierra Chart, which is move attached targets to price and move attached stops to price. And what that feature does is it will consolidate all of your attached targets and stops, either stops or targets to the price that you hover over. Now, what this feature does is it moves only the closest stop or target to the price. And we'll show how that works right now. So this study functions in the form of a custom study and it's a very simple lightweight study. It's only around probably 100 lines of code or less. And the function is very simple, so I will show you now how it works. So you need to be in a trading position for this to work, and it will work differently depending on if you're long or short. So right now I'm replaying the market here at a one time speed, so the same speed as the market would be trading, and I will submit a limit buy order here, and I will just move this stop loss further down so you do not trigger it. And I'll also move the limit further away, and I did that manually because I'm about to show you the, the uh, faster way of doing it using this study. So now what will happen is when I press my advanced custom study button that is associated with this study and my cursor is hovering either below the last traded price or above the last traded price, it's going to move the corresponding attached order that is on that side of the market. So in this case, if I press the button and my cursor is hovering above the last traded price, it's going to move that target. If I hover myself below the last traded price, it's going to move the stop loss. All right, that's how it works. That's exactly what it does. Now, this is advantageous if you are potentially in a trade of multiple contracts. So let's say you, I don't know, you're long, I'm long three. Now I have three targets and three stops. And these are all OCOs, meaning that when one of the targets fills, the stop will cancel um, on the other side. And by the way, if you haven't seen our other video on why you should be using OCO orders, you need to go see it. It's very important for you and your trading career. Okay, so I'll move these orders further away just because I don't want them to fill. And I want to show you how this works now. So right now when I'm hovering below the last traded price and I press the study button, it will move the closest stop order up. And the same is when I'm hovering above the last traded price, it will move the closest target up, okay? Now, in the case where you have three stops like this or three targets, and you decide that you wanna move the stop further away, like let's say I press the button while I'm hovering it way down here, it's going to move the closest stop all the way down there. And now when I come up to move the closest stop order, it will recognize this one as the closest stop order. So you can see that right there. So that's just sort of how it works. It will always move the closest target or stop. So again, I'll move the furthest target far away, and then I'll press the button again when I'm hovering in this area, and you can see that it moves the closest target. Now, uh, some of you guys, you DOM traders out there, you're gonna say, can this work when I'm hovering over the DOM? Absolutely, yes. You can see you can be hovering anywhere on the chart. You can even be hovering over the price scale and it works. So all I'm doing is I'm pressing an advanced custom study button that is associated with performing the function. And uh, it doesn't matter where you're hovering on the price scale of the chart. It could be on one of the trading DOM columns. It could be on the value scale. All right, I'm gonna show you now uh, how to get it to work. So again, if you guys are interested, if you do like this study, if you think that it could help your trading, uh, then you know, let me know and I can provide you guys the DLL for that. Um, but again, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, so just you know, just don't give me a hard time about it, okay? <laughs> so anyways, um, I'll show you guys how the study works. So basically, you have to add the study to your chart, so I will go to Analysis and then Studies, and it's this study right here called Move Closest Attached Order to Price. You go into the study, there's only one input, which is the Advanced Custom Study Control Bar button number that you want to perform the function that I just showed you. And in this case, I've defaulted it to button number 25. So when you open the study for the first time, it's gonna be set to button 25 because that's the default that I programmed, okay? Now, what you need to do next is you need to actually program some sort of a keyboard shortcut to advanced custom study button number 25 in this case. So this is how you do that. I'll get out of these menus by clicking OK. I'll go up to global settings, customize keyboard shortcuts. You need to find the custom study control bar button keyboard shortcuts. 
bring down the drop down here, then go find button number 25. And in this case, you can see that this is the hotkey that I had programmed. Control Alt Shift T. This is unique to my client side settings that I have for Sierra Chart, so you will not have this. You need to program this to a button on your keyboard. And that's it. So once the keyboard shortcut is assigned to the custom study control bar button, you don't have to add this button to your control bar. You just simply need to press the keyboard shortcut that is assigned to the button, and that's all. Um, some of you might ask, how do you press Control Alt Shift at the same time? I actually don't. So I have this keyboard that has these five macro keys on it, and basically I programmed Control Alt Shift T to be a one button press on my macro keyboard. And actually this is a really old Razer keyboard. I don't think they make them anymore with these macro uh, buttons on the side. Let's do one last example, but we'll be in a short trade this time. So I'll enter short, a couple of contracts. I'll move the stops further away. I'll actually move the stops further away by using button. So there we go, I moved one, then I move the other. This will only move one order at a time. It doesn't matter what the quantity of the order is. The order has its own unique order ID. So that's pretty much how it works, guys. And you can even hold the button and it'll kind of do that, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because you're gonna probably get failed order modification messages in Sierra Chart if you're constantly holding the button like that because what you're doing when you hold the button is you're constantly asking it to modify the order. So I wouldn't recommend really doing that. You're gonna get order modification failed messages. So just press the button once like that and it should perform the modification flawlessly. Okay, thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.